What is going on guys, Sergeant's Tech Tips. I'm gonna be showing you how to basically just overclock your RAM. And my computer actually tells me, or my processor tells me on the Intel website that you can only overclock it to 266 megahertz, but I've gone a little bit farther. I think it was like 3,066 megahertz, but I'm gonna show you how to overclock your RAM. And I also have a dipshit over here with me. Easy, we just released a Modern Warfare video. He's actually getting his thumbnail ready. Mine's already up and they're fucking good. His is better than mine, but they're incredible. Like they're Jesus. fucking funny. They just add. Just, just watch mine. Mine, you don't have to just watch mine, okay? I'm the one who can remove your channel from your own account. Pretty guys, so I'm actually gonna show you what my RAM speed is now. Sadly, it's only at ooh, 24,000 megahertz. It runs fine, but I, I'd like a little more. So yeah, let me just, and to get into the BIOS for ASRock boards, it's F2. I'm not sure on other boards, because I know some boards are escape. I know some boards are 12, delete. F12 is usually the boot menu or F11, but so yeah, just, F so yeah, the RAM is running at 2,400 megahertz. So let's go to advanced mode. We're gonna go to OC tweaker, DRAM configuration. Uh, I'm not gonna do the XMP setting. I'm actually gonna do a video on what the difference is between XMP. I don't even know, so that'll be interesting. So let's go here and we're gonna do, the farthest I've gotten was this, but let's actually try 3,200 megahertz real quick. So this is, yeah. So with ASRock boards, you go to the OC tweaker. Um, I can put links to the description between two motherboards. I'm gonna do MSI and Aurorus or ASUS or whatever you wanna call it. Cause I know some boards are different and I want you guys to be able to get it. So there will be a link in the description below for, it's just gonna be like a manual on how to do it. You go to DRAM configuration and then you go to DDR4, 3,200. You don't generally have to change the latency or the power that's actually being sent to the RAM. So I'm not gonna mess with that. So let's go to exit, save, exit, save and exit, save changes and exit. It might not work. Did I really just get my RAM at, wow. Okay, so I will point out if you go any beyond that, I would recommend staying at 3200 megahertz with this specific processor because just because it says it worked, say you get it to 34,000, you're probably not gonna get it to 4,000 megahertz because I'm not even sure if that's a thing yet. But you gotta be careful with this type of thing because it may work properly, but it may not run it might not be stable, say if you're in a game or something along those lines. So that's why you gotta be careful with this type of thing. But yeah, if you guys wanna see videos like this, let me know in the comments below, like, dislike, blah, blah, blah. Um, I just wanted to show you how to, you know, basically overclock your RAM or up the speed because that is helpful, especially if you have Ryzen and Ryzen loves fast memory. Hope you guys enjoyed it if you did. I'm not gonna repeat myself. I do that in every fucking video, I swear to God. See you guys next video and eh, peace out. Peace out.